This is Devin reporting for Sheko from Atmosphere Asia 2018 here in Singapore, and we've just uh, finished the conference. Um, I'm standing here with Mr. Hamza from Kiat Ananda Cold Storage, one of the biggest cold storage companies in Indonesia. And you spoke a little bit today about why the it, why it's important for the company to look into technology like natural refrigerant technology, mm. and also uh, about some of the installations you've done so far with uh, ammonia and CO2 systems. Yeah. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about that uh, right now? Yeah. Okay. Let's. Uh Thank you. Uh, really great conference today, and then uh, I think the refrigerants, natural refrigerants, is really important because in Indonesia, for the large scales of cold storage, uh, on 90s or, or yeah, I think 90s era is they uh, have uh, halo carbon uh, refrigerants, which is now they are already moving to the natural refrigerants as we know that uh, more eco friendly, and then the most important for the business is uh, also low operating costs and then also uh, reduce the electricity consumption per month or every per per uh, year so all of the upfront cost it will be uh, pay payback uh, faster than the regular halo carbon uh, refrigerants i think that's a good point and then is uh, supporting all of the uh, uh, business growth for the cold, cold chain or maybe supply chain business in indonesia i think that's this that's the good point of the re natural refrigerants. And then a lot of uh, new technology uh, development. I think now uh, uh, we know it's not only for the ammonia and uh, CO2, and also they have also R290, which is uh, new. And now also uh, good uh, uh, aircon also already starting to use uh, R290, so I think it's good uh, improvement for the air, for the refrigeration, I think, yeah. This is the first time for us to hold an event <coughs> in uh, Singapore. Um, and it's the first time for us to talk to many end users in this region. What is your feeling about the, the future, the next couple of years in, in oh. Southeast Asia? Actually, is this conference is a little bit technically, and then I think for the business uh, practi uh, practitioner, I have to need to understand uh, more uh, clearly and then it's uh, easy to apply for the business. I think for the future, is this this kind of conference is really good and then invite more of the food manufacturing and consumer good producing, which is also not only a big cold chain uh, company that use uh, refrigerants, but I believe also for the food manufacturing also use a lot of refrigeration. And then they also have, uh, uh, I think it's, it's good one also for the moving from uh, halo carbon to uh, natural refrigerant. I think that's that's, uh, that's that's good things that uh, we have from this conference. I think. Uh, okay, it's great to have your perspective as an end user. So good luck with everything. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, thank very, you much. very much. Yeah. Thank okay. You. Yeah. Thank you. Huh?